Job search. Yep. Yeah. So the you know we suspended normally when you're getting unemployment, you know the whole idea is that that's temporary and you know you need to be looking for work to be able uh, to get off unemployment. Obviously work because that's what we want everyone to do. Well, when COVID hit. The jobs were, I mean, things were just, I mean, it was a disaster. So we suspended those job search requirements. But I think it's pretty clear now we have an abundance of job openings. I mean, you go to talk to businesses, they want to hire people, particularly in hospitality, restaurants, all these things. Uh, and so this is the last month where you're going to have that in place. You are going to have to resume uh, at the end of this month uh, the job searching uh, as part of continuing uh, to receive benefits. And, and I think that that's absolutely appropriate uh, given the underlying strength of our economy. We absolutely could put more people to work. We have the, the demand is there. Uh, businesses want to hire more people. And I think that uh, we'll, we'll be able to go in that direction um, uh, very soon. Um, you, I'll have to refer you to Dane Eagle on that. Um, we, it, we can't hear back from him. We call him every single day. We okay. Know who to represent this area. Okay. I'll tell you what. Well, I will. Uh, I will uh, call Dane after this. I'll let him know that you asked, and, and I will have him personally follow up with you guys. Yes, ma'am. I have not. I don't think that we've necessarily, um, I don't think we have a policy. I mean, I didn't know that that was necessarily uh, um, going on, um, you, you know, so, uh, so I have to look at that. I mean, I did actually, you know, I did see some type of uh, headline about it. I did not uh, click through, so I don't want to speak out of turn without having, uh, having seen, um, seen the actual facts. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I mean, I'll, I'll have to review the policy and see. Like I said, it was it was kind of news to me. It's just because it's not been something that had ever come up before. Anyone else? Sure. Yes, ma'am. What do you say to uh, activists out there that say that this means United States will want to be a direct kind of a direct kind of not like slap in the face to people who are protesting? Well, it's not at all. First of all, we had a lot of protests in Florida that were peaceful, um, and no one said anything about it. But I also had a guy jump the fence in the governor's mansion. We saw some places in Tampa and Orlando where people started to get violent. Now, that was, that was uh, uh, reeled in pretty quickly. I called out the National Guard. We were very serious. Obviously, I had people like Carmine who were, who were ready to go for it. Uh, but, you know, I think if you look around the country, what happens is, like in Portland, these, these people riot every night. They, they go, they get their mug shot, and then they get put right back on the street to do it again. That's what we don't want. What we want to say is, you know, you know the difference between going out and doing First Amendment stuff, which obviously we all support. It's, it's, it's part of being American. The minute you harm somebody else or you harm somebody's property or you do those types of things, the only way we're going to put a stop to it is to have very swift penalties for it. And so I remember, I mean, seeing some of the police, how they were treated was horribly. People throw stuff, throw bricks at them, do all. I mean, you have you seen in some of these cities, whenever there's a little bit of unrest, literally there'll be a U-Haul that just gets left there. And there's all this stuff in the back of it for these people to do all this stuff. And so we don't want that coming to Florida. Um, there's a lot of places around this country that have not stood by law enforcement. And the tragedy of it is, uh, you're seeing crime spike in certain parts of our country like we haven't seen in decades. And the people that are going to be most affected by that are the most vulnerable members of our society. And in fact, when these guys are getting called out, they're usually getting called out to help victims who can't defend for themselves. And so they need people to, who wear the uniform to be able to go out and to be able to protect them and to be able to provide a measure of justice when they're being harmed. And what I've seen throughout the country is uh, people stepping back from this, not supporting law enforcement, being very lax, allowing more and more of this to happen. And it's caused increases in crime. And that is going to have devastating consequences. I mean, you know, it's so good to have a good economy, you know, schools, all these great things that we always fight for. All of that collapses if you don't have public order and public safety. And so 
one of the reasons we're here today with the bonuses is because we know just how important that is. And so I think that uh, what we did uh, plants our flag in the ground. It tells people, hey, if you're in Portland, you think you can come down to Florida and do this, stay out of our state. Uh, we, don't, we don't want you coming down here and causing problems. And if anyone does cause these problems, if you try to burn something down, you try to harm uh, anybody, but particularly a police officer uh, during one of these, um, during one of these uh, violent assemblies, uh, there will be consequences. They will be swift and they will be severe and they will be uh, such that people who see that happening will know that's not something that we want to do going forward. Thanks everybody. We'll see you soon.